Okay, so welcome everyone and thank you for coming to support your local artists and musicians. <laughs> and, uh, and also thank you because when I, I realize when I share my work like this or I have art shows, it, like, it really helps the work to evolve. And it somehow, you know, it, it, people see things in the work that I don't see and, uh, and it also, you know, putting this together, I see connections that I hadn't seen before. Mm -hmm. So the first two slides are of my latest work, which is oil and canvas. This is probably about four feet by five and a half feet. And, um, and I do it mostly by, I rub in veils of color using rags, using cotton and um, linen and sometimes silk and I build it up in layers and you can go to the next one and um, and I've always been inspired by the landscape mostly especially the shoreline and I've always lived close to the shore and because I have such a strong connection to landscape I thought what I would do is go back and forth between images of the landscape and images of my work so you can go to the next one because, and so this is um, the view out the window of my home growing up in the west of Ireland. On, that's Galway Bay and the beach is just down the road. And um, you can go to the next one. And so this is the beach where we came to play after school and on weekends. <laughs> and uh, it was really our playground. And we would spend hours down here. Go to the next one. And there should be one before that, but maybe it's after. And so the interior looked more like this. I mean, not quite as spectacular. <laughs> this is, but a lot of stone walls. And this is out on the, one of the Arran Islands, which is off the coast. And I, I really loved, oh yeah, this is the one. And those little pools in between the rocks. We especially loved playing here because they were filled with little fish and crabs and all kinds of colored seaweed. And, um, and I like that other slide because even though it's like this sea of gray, there's always a little color mm -hmm. somewhere. <laughs> and there's a lot of wildflowers in Ireland. So you can go to the next one. And then I moved here in 1986. And for, <coughs> oops, I'm in your way. No, not at all. And uh, I came here for a vacation and then I just couldn't leave. I kept trying to leave. <laughs> I kept changing my ticket and then not <laughs> And uh, I was just really blown away by the landscape here. It was such a contrast because it was just these wide open spaces. Go to the next one. And open fields. And it seemed like the light was reflecting off all these flat surfaces. And it just seemed like everything was glimmering and shimmering <laughs> and uh, sunny skies. And now the next one. <laughs> And when I first started painting after I moved here, I, I worked in very bright colors and with a lot of energy. And um, I was just, you know, just the feeling of being here. I felt like I'd left this weight of history behind and there was this young energy here. Next. And um, here's another one. And, and then at a certain point, I felt like this shift was happening I wasn't sure what it was, but I felt like there was a missing element. And any time I get to that point, I always look to nature. Like I said before, I look to landscape, but I also look to the weather and the elements. And something usually reveals itself so I can take the next step. So I'm just going to have a sip of tea. So anyway, the thing that really spoke to me at this point was the form of clouds because they, had, they seem like they have this solid state, and yet they're sort of suspended and hovering, and, uh, and they're also in, next one, they're also sort of in transition with the, the sky around them, and they're always shifting and shaping. Next. And I'd grown up with a lot of clouds. <laughs> now that you need to go to Ireland, because the sky out here last week was very dramatic. It was all kinds of action happening in the sky. So next. So then I also came across this new material, or this, which is pastel. And I found these pans of pastel, which were great, because I could rub them in, and I created these large-scale pastels. Next. And I, so I could sort of rub them in and create these grounds. And 
I could work into it and I could, you know, erase back to almost white next. And uh, it was just very, it has sort of the lightness of watercolor, but it's very, you know, it's, it's, it's much more workable. And, you know, you can take it off and put it back in and draw into it and you can really soften the edges or sharpen the edges. Next. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I finally surrendered to the fact that out here we're always looking at horizontal lines. Next. And also because I was working in layers, you know, having one, you can, because with pastel, you can put a thin layer over another, and the colors start becoming a lot more muted and sort of smokier <coughs> next. And this one is called Bog Fire, because I used to lo light fires up in the bog where I lived, and it was always smoky and fiery like this. And I really started to really appreciate those, those more organic colors, and... Um, which I hadn't for, because it's what I grew up with and I was trying to get away from it. <laughs> but I really started to appreciate it. They seem more like in between states, like transitions, like dawns and dusks. Next. And so now I'm going to go back again to the landscape in the west of Ireland. And this is an area called the Burn in mm -hmm. County Clare, which is south of Galway, it's along the coast. And it's this sea of gray limestone that goes on for miles and miles. Next. And uh, it's really, every time I go, I have to spend some time there. And next. And what's also really interesting is that in between the rocks, there are these, some of the rarest wildflowers in the world. There's a lot of tiny orchids and like very bright colors. And, um, and then I started painting again in oil Next. And when I went back to oil, I had learned a lot from the pastel. I started working in layers, like I said before. And, um, and you know, that the, and I really wanted to, next, I really wanted to simplify the palette as well. So I started working just in grays. And I think that pastel had sort of taken me to a certain edge. And I wanted to push it further. Next. And, and again, you know, I was always fascinated by the shoreline. I think this one is called Seawalk. And I always like edges because to me, the shoreline in particular is where all the elements are at play. There's like sea and sand and sky and birds moving and um, weather changing a lot. Next. Is there a next? Oh, there should be two little videos, no? <laughs> Let's hope. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay, don't play it yet. No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, there's one before that. There should be one before that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. this past September, I spent a week out at the uh, Andy Warhol Preserve on an art residency. And I got to spend hours every day on the shore, and I made these mini time-lapse videos because the weather was changing. Maybe we'll just play it again because it went by so fast. But this particular week, there was a storm coming up from the south, and the fog was rolling all day, and the sun was in and out, and I, this was the best way I could to capture it. So that was really inspiring, and I felt like I was back at my, my first beach. Okay. And so there's one more video, and that's it, if you can find it. Okay, so I also decided to just play directly with the elements, and I found this like driftwood along the shore, and I wrapped it in cloth and had these fire installations along the edge of the water, and that was really fun. I really loved doing that. and. Uh, so anyway, I think I've sort of reached the end of the, the, the journey here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm curious to see where this goes. And I think I'll work more directly in the landscape and on the canvas. So um, just let this play out. So that's it. So yes, thank you. Thank you.